I got some bell peppers here, little pieces of bell peppers that was on their last leg. I'm going to try to make me a salad or a salsa or something out of this. So I got red, orange, green, and yellow bell peppers diced up right here. I got a little red onion I just added. I think I'm going to add some cilantro and maybe some tomatoes, but I'm still going through the refrigerator, so hold on. <laughs> I'm making this up on the fly. So I've added a little green onions, including the white part, and some jalapenos, just a little bit of jalapenos to give it a little bit of heat. And now I think I'm gonna add tomato, cilantro, and then squeeze it with some lime, salt and pepper. I don't know what I'm making. I'm just putting some stuff in a bowl. <laughs> and sometimes that's how it be, baby. That's how it be sometimes. So here it is, and here's the question for y'all. I just cut up a pineapple and cut up the pieces and put it in the refrigerator. But I'm thinking about adding a little bit of pineapple to this. Right now, I'm just eating this like, mm -mm, like this. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good, y'all. It's really good. Think I should add pineapple? Let me know. Mmm. This is what I decided to do. I did add a little pineapple. I did add a little pineapple. Hmm. Hmm. That's really good. This was a way for me to clean out my refrigerator. So I went through my refrigerator I went through all my vegetables and I had little pieces of bell pepper, all the different bell peppers. And I said, okay, let me throw this together and see what I'm going to make. I could have sauteed it. I could have roasted them. I could have done a lot of stuff, but I wanted something that's kind of clean and fresh. I could have had beans to this, but I ate so many beans yesterday. I'm not, I mean, I'm not feeling beans right now. I'll eat beans another couple of days from now. So you could add beans to this. You could add corns to this. You could add cucumbers to this. You could add a lot of stuff to this, but this is one way you can clean out your fridge and still make something that's tasty for the family. Don't forget that. Introduce your kids little by little by little to vegetables. And what you will find out is that you're actually changing the taste buds. So when they taste processed foods over time, now this is over time. It's not going to happen instantly, but over time, they'll start rejecting processed food. Okay. Okay. That's what I got for y'all today. I'm Val Taylor. Y'all go out and make it a great day. And I will see y'all on the next video. By now. Well, I went back to get the rest of the bowl. It was so good. Get your kids to help you in the kitchen, clean out your refrigerator, chop up some of those vegetables, put them in a bowl, put some lemon, lime, salt and pepper, whatever you like on them, and give them some tortilla chips and get them to eating vegetables, y'all. This is so good. All right, bye now.